Do you need a fancy camera in order to make high quality YouTube videos, in order to make a channel that is successful and grows? The short answer is no, not really, but the longer answer is it sort of depends on the kind of videos that you're making. Because on the one hand, there are plenty of YouTubers out there who don't do it with much. They'll use just like the built-in camera on their laptop or a very cheap webcam and they do just fine. But then there are other people who they have very fancy cameras and they're doing really well as well. So what what what's going on here? What are you supposed to do as a new YouTuber or you're, you're just getting started? You're, maybe your channel's been struggling. You're not really sure what's the problem. Is it the quality of my videos? The quality of my video, is it not crispy enough? Part of what makes someone subscribe to the channel is the perceived quality of the video, but it doesn't really, I don't think that video is really the most important thing. The most important thing is the content. Of course, it depends on what kind of video you're doing as to how important the video quality is to the quality of the content. Now, if your channel is about art or something like that, especially the visual arts, something where the aesthetic of the video really matters, then in that case, yeah, you probably need a high quality camera because, you know, you're talking about stuff that is supposed to be aesthetically pleasing, so it doesn't make sense if your video isn't. But for those of you who are out there just trying to share some message, trying to get across what's in your heart, your mind, sharing the things that you know, teaching people, so on and so forth, this video is more for you. So for example, on this channel, College of Tuber Studies, I'm giving you information. The information is the most important thing. So it doesn't really matter if I use a high quality camera or not. And you'll notice that a lot of the videos that I've done recently have just been using a webcam. Right now I'm filming on my most fancy camera. This is the Canon 6D Mark II, which costs, I think when I got it with the kit lens, it's like almost $3,000. That's a lot of money. But I was getting it not just for videos talking to the camera, but I was like, I can use this for a multitude of things. Plus, even when I'm just sitting doing a talking head video, it looks really good, high quality. Do I need it? No, I could probably do a lot of the stuff I do with a cheaper camera, but not everything. So don't just jump to get a fancy camera because Frank James or some other YouTuber you like uses a fancy camera. But if you look at YouTubers who their main thing is conveying information, a lot of uh, political YouTubers or a lot of YouTubers who are talking about uh, philosophical things or people who are people talking about psychology, people who have some kind of expertise where they really have a lot of great information to give to you, they don't really need really great, high quality, the highest quality video. They don't need 4K. They don't need uh, the most advanced color science or whatever. Really, in those instances, you just need something that's passable in terms of video. And the most important thing really is audio because the audio is really what's getting across the message. Your words are being transmitted through sound, not so much through the visual. The visual is just an, an extra added thing to create connection. So if you're going to spend money somewhere, spend it first on upgrading audio if you need to, because a lot of times you have all the stuff you need for audio right there. Most of us, well, should I say most of us? A lot of us have smartphones, right? That has a great camera built in and a pretty good microphone already, so you're probably good. Even if you're just using a, a uh, built-in webcam on a computer, the mic might be good enough. You just have to make sure that you're close enough to it, that you're speaking clearly, that there's not a bunch of extra rustling and stuff, so that uh, the audio is clear. So first of all, audio before video. As strange as that may seem when we're on a video site, audio is more important. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to some other cameras so we can see what the difference is. So now I'm going to switch to an iPhone. Should I do a snap to, go, to do a special editing trick? Here we go. So right now I'm using my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus. 
Uh, n not even the most recent one. It's what three years old, maybe four years old. 2016, I think it was was when it was released. It's not so bad. It's good. It's good uh, video. Very good video quality. And I'm using the selfie camera right now. How's the audio quality? The audio right now is being recorded off of the phone itself. Now you'll notice that one of the things that you sacrifice is on my Canon. I had a zoom lens with the iPhone. I can can I zoom? I, like I don't even know how to use my phone, but I might have to get closer to get the kind of shot that I want. Looks pretty good to me. One of the things though is when you're doing um, when you're shooting on your phone, don't look at yourself the whole time because it, it looks it, I it looks irritating. Please just look at the look at the camera. There you go. See, it looks much more professional. And yes, I'm still using the uh, studio lighting, but what happens if I turn it off? How does it look? Let's see. Even without lighting, this doesn't look bad. Let me, let's move a bit closer to the window and use natural lighting. It's not the greatest lighting in the world, but it's fair. You would, if you saw a video that looked like this, you wouldn't be like, uh, that sucks. It looks fine. Now, not all of us have phones with great cameras, right? So what do you do then? Here, right here, this is a Logitech webcam, which is what I used in my first YouTube video on the Frank James channel. My first few, actually. I use it a lot on the College of Tuber Studies. This is a Logitech C C90. It doesn't have it written on it, but why don't we switch over to that and see how this looks? We'll look at it with some pro lighting and then with natural lighting, we'll see what it looks like. All right, now I'm recording with the Logitech C920. That's what this webcam is. On Amazon right now, it's 62 bucks. That's not bad for a camera. The video quality, it's not incredible. It's not crispy. It's not uh, the best in the world, but it doesn't look bad. I'm looking at myself right now. It looks fine. Now, the one thing is, you know, with a camera and a phone, it records on the device. With the webcam, you have to hook it up to your computer and record it through a program. What I use when I'm using this webcam is OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. It's a free program for Mac and Windows, and I will link to it uh, in the description. And it's a, it's a great tool to use if you are trying to get pretty good quality video for cheap. Now, I'm also using the microphone on the webcam which is not so hot, I don't think. Like comparatively to the other options, uh, I haven't used the mic on here a lot, so I actually don't know how it sounds. Maybe it sounds fine. I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? Is it possible? Would you watch a video if you clicked on it and it was this sound quality? So let's switch over. I've got my Zoom H6 recorder. And this is with better audio. And you see how the, the, the quality of the video seems to just dramatically improve once the audio gets better. The video is the same. It's not any better necessarily. Uh, well, it's not better at all because <laughs> nothing changed with the video, but the audio is better. So your perception is that the video overall is better. So that's why I say audio first before video but it's not a bad choice for you new YouTubers out there who don't want to plop down a bunch of money and uh, bankrupt, bankrupt yourself in an, an endeavor that may not pan out. Because I know how it is. When you're first starting YouTube, you're like, I don't want to put a lot of money into this if it doesn't go anywhere. So this is a good camera to start with. Now, I said I would use this camera with the pro lights, but the cord is too short. I can't get it over there. So we are not going to see it. Sorry, that's... <laughs> That not that the way they say it goes? Let's forget all that. Ow! <laughs> of course, there are other options. This is the first camera that I used for a long time on YouTube. This is the Sony RX100 Mark V. Right now, the most current one is the Mark VI, I think. When I got this, I got it used, and it was about $750, which is a chunk of change. Right now, if you bought it new, I'm not sure how much it would cost. Maybe $800, $900. You can, this is the Mark V, so if you go back in time, you can get the Mark I or the Mark II. Still high-quality camera, but it might be a lot cheaper. You can get it used through eBay. You can go to BH Photo and see if you can get a used one there or a, uh, you know, a return, a refurbished one. There are a lot of options if you kind of want to go in between the super cheap 
and the super expensive and uh but like i said it's not it's not necessary if you want let me just show you really quick what this one looks like if i can get it turned on i'm not sure if the battery's charged let's take a look okay and here we go with the rx 100 mark 5 the camera that i used a lot back in the old days on the frank james channel a pretty good video right i looked on amazon just now you can get a used one for like five or six hundred you can get the original rx 100 for about 430 that's not bad that's sort of like mid-range but at that point you could also get like a canon sl2 which is a dslr with a zoom lens gives you a little bit more flexibility for about the same price it really just depends on how much money you're willing to spend but the whole point of this video is <laughs> you don't need to spend a bunch of money on a fancy camera because first of all audio matters more second of all as you saw with the webcam that's good enough i would say stick with what you have if you have to make some investment start small force yourself to make a decent amount of videos with the least amount of investment so that you can make sure you want to do it and make sure that you're having fun doing it and that maybe you're getting some success before you plunk down some change on a camera and also keep in mind that it's an investment if you're going to buy a camera for youtube make sure that you use it a lot for youtube and that you know how to use it properly you know how to set it up you know how to get the best picture possible like right now this is on like auto it's not it's not the greatest picture quality but it's okay. It's funny with the RX100, it has a flip up screen. So I used to always look at myself in the in the viewfinder, but I've gotten so used to just looking at the lens that uh, I don't even look up at myself as I've got it set up. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a big thing. Get used to looking at the lens. It's unnatural, but you got to do it. For a while, it's going to feel T terrible totally foreign but then after a while it's like talking to an old friend an old friend with a cold unfeeling eye that never blinks so <laughs> summing up do you need an expensive camera nah you don't quality matters but it doesn't matter enough to spend three thousand dollars on a camera that you may not need you know what I'm saying? And then as you keep going on YouTube, you'll find, oh, I just want to get a better picture for my audience that is already growing. And it makes sense as an investment for me to get something more. Then go ahead and do it. But just to start out, don't feel like it's a barrier to entry to have something fancy. You don't need it. At some point, I will talk more about audio specifically and how to get good, crispy, buttery, crispy and buttery audio at the same time. But that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time at the College of Tuber Studies.